It's been more than a week since the Sea to Sky gondola cable was cut for a second time. No arrests have been made, but now officials are offering a big incentive to find the culprit. We uh, here at Sea to Sky Gondola are putting up a $250,000 reward for information leading up to the location, arrest, and conviction of the perpetrator of the acts of last summer, August the 10th, and this year, September the 24th. The quarter of a million dollars is being put up entirely by the Sea to Sky Gondola Company, even as it deals with the financial fallout from COVID-19. It shows how serious the Sea to Sky Gondola team is about trying to have those who did this uh, brought to justice. The gondola line was severed around 4 a.m. on September 14th, sending 40 cabins crashing to the ground, causing millions of dollars in damage. Squamish RCMP confirmed they have surveillance footage, but will not reveal what exactly it shows just yet. This is a very complex investigation. Last year's was a very complex investigation. Uh, there's piles of data to go through. These things take time, and we're asking the public to make sure that they provide us with that time. This second act of vandalism comes one year after the gondola was cut the first time. It took six months to rebuild, and staff estimates that's how long it'll take this time, too. Since the closure, they've seen an outpouring of community support. Yet again, Squamish has risen behind us to say that we've got your back, literally and figuratively and in every way, and that's just amazing. Um, and you know, we are of Squamish. We live here, and we love this place. Anyone with information is asked to contact the gondola tip line set up by the RCMP at 604-892-6122. In Squamish, Travis Prasad, City News.